Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Scorpion. This is the video y'all been looking for. The 2009 American Awards Review. The official 2009 American Awards Review. Don't watch nobody else review because their review ain't going to be like mine. If you are not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to The Scorpion Show today. We give y'all videos five days a week. All right, so you know the 2009 American Music Awards opened up with a performance by Janet Jackson that was scheduled for eight minutes, but we got seven minutes, but who cares? You know, Janet came out with a nice production, and, you know, as soon as she came up down the stage, I was like, oh, no, this brown outfit does not look good on Janet. I hope during this performance that she changes her outfit. That did not happen, but, you know, Janet was still keeping up with the music. Janet was getting it in. But one thing I did notice is that Janet was tired. And, you know, Janet, weight, her weight was up. And, you know, I tweeted on Twitter that Janet should lose weight. And, you know, the Janet stands was cursing me out. And I'm like, I'm a Janet stand, too. I just keep it real. Even though I love Janet Jackson down, I'm not going to say everything that she does is right or act like I don't see stuff when I see it. Hell no. I'm going to tell you all how it is, you know. And Janet was out of breath. Janet was tired. And, you know, she was just trying to keep up with the music. But she still did a good job keeping up. Again, Janet is 43 years old. And I don't see a lot of people that's 43 performing like she's doing. So, Janet, you did a good job. It was not your best, but you still did a good job. And for those people that was getting their panties in a bunch, I ain't even got nothing else to say. And, you know, at the Janet's performance, Shakira performed. Shakira did a wonderful job with her dancers. She had about 60 girls out there killing it. Like, you can have anything that you want in the world and all of that. They was in the aisles. They was in the rows. One thing I noticed that they were all on point no matter where they were. They were all on point, and it was very, very sexy. Then we had Kelly Clarkson out there performing. Now, Kelly is not looking her best. Let's be honest. She has gained a lot of weight. Her hair was off. Her dress was off. But the vocals were on. They were on point. Kelly Clarkson, y'all really got to give it up to Kelly. She did an amazing job singing Already Gone. I really, really love that performance. Then, you know, I think Keith Urban performed... I'm not really into country music, so I'm not even going to give y'all my opinion of it. But his wife, Nicole Kipman, was there, and she really looked good in her outfit. Then all of a sudden, we seen Alicia Keys playing at her piano. And then, you, of course, you know she always sing with that piano. Alicia Keys without a piano is like Beyonce without her stilettos. Beyonce's husband was there, though, of course. Jay-Z and Alicia Keys, I just said that. Jay-Z had on a white, you know, blazer, black pants, you know. Jay-Z and Alicia Keys, that song, I don't care what y'all say, that song really inspires you no matter where you're from. Like, it just makes you want to go to New York, makes you want to live in New York. And if I, you know, worked for the state of New York, I would be using that song to get people to come to New York. The song is very, very inspiring. Very, very good performance by Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. And, you know, the camera kept cutting the different people in the audience. We seen Carrie Hilson. I noticed that her hair was done. You know, she got rid of that thing that was in the front of her head. And then we seen Whitney Houston was jamming. And then we seen Lady Gaga. She was just like this. Because she was waiting to get the fuck on stage. She just wanted to perform. And then they cut that camera on Perez Hilton. And I was just no more good. I was like, girl, sit down. You know you really don't like no Jay-Z and Leech Keys. Come on now. Come on. Anyway, let me stop hating on Perez Hilton because, bitch, she's doing her thing. And then, you know, we had the Black Eyed Peas come out. And that's when I thought that the Black Eyed Peas had the best performance at that time. The only thing I was just not feeling was Fergie. I mean, her, her singing the regular parts was all right. But all that, whoa. And then she was all key like, ah. And then she fixed She's like, whoa, whoa. I can't go any further than this. And then I'm like, you know, I'm looking at Will like, what does Will have on? He looks like a black version of Elvis, you know. But anyway, shout out to the Black Eyed Peas, 26 weeks at number one. They're doing their thing. If you don't have the Energy Never Dies, also known as the end, y'all need to go buy that album. Then, excuse me, ooh, then. The moment we were all waiting for all night. The return of the Bayesian princess, Rihanna. 
I ain't gonna lie, you know, I was like, oh shit, Rihanna about to give it to us. She about to give it to us, and then we seen Rihanna for what she was, the robot. They were showing how they put that robot together, and Rihanna said, welcome to the madhouse. Look what Def Jam created. Look at this robot we created. This bitch spinning on a windmill or something similar to a windmill, and then her dances um, unpatch her off and shit, and she sings The Way It Is Over. And I'm like, okay, Rihanna, oh, girl, this, it's like, you have everything going for you, Rihanna. You got a strong team behind you. You got all these celebrities that's supporting you and stuff. But it's like, when it's time for you to do what you need to do, you just can't get it together. You don't have any stage presence. That is what you need. I mean, Jay-Z is your mentor. Start trying to get some advice from his wife. Learn how to work the stage, work the crowd, work your vocals. Dude, you, you, Rihanna just got to get it together, y'all. Because Rihanna got everything working for her. She got the fashion. She got the looks. She got the production. It's just her. When you put the weight on her shoulders, she always just, that shit, she just falls through the stage. She just fell through the stage. And I was like, oh, bye. Bye, girl, fly, girl. But you know, hey, if y'all like Rihanna, then I love Rihanna. Then all of a sudden, it's either Carrie Underwood performed or Lady Gaga performed. But Carrie Underwood performed. I believe that Carrie Underwood is one of the best vocalists of this decade. Her and Kelly Clarkson. The best. Like, just, she was just singing. I ain't really watched the performance because we was talking. But she, her voice, definitely on point. Lady Gaga, I just did, I gave Lady Gaga her own video review. She just smashed it. She killed it. You know, bitch almost brought a tear to my eye. Lady Gaga, all I got to say is I cannot wait until December the 3rd when we are in the same room at that Susquehanna Bank Center. I am going to go off of you. You're going to put on a show for us. And then I'm going to get on YouTube and talk about it. I already know. So, Lady Gaga, you're doing your thing. Also, Rihanna's Rated R comes out tomorrow. Shakira's new album, She Wolf, comes out tomorrow. And Lady Gaga's The Fame Fame Monster or, or Rated R. However, they all got CDs coming out tomorrow. Make sure y'all go pick those albums up. Mary J. Blige perform I Am. Mary J. Blige look good. Her voice was good. <sighs> Mary J. Blige cannot just give a bad performance. I don't have nothing to say about Mary. All right. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jennifer Lopez. She had fucking Michael Buffer out there. She had a boxing ring. She coming out ready to box like she about to kill it and shit. You know, the Louboutin songs, it's cool. You know, that's the first time I heard it because, you know, I know it leaked, but it's the first time I heard the song. Song was all right, you know. But then that bitch had the nerve to try to jump down and she fell. She actually fell. Jennifer did one of these, bitch. Let me show y'all. She was like this. But she did a good job playing it all. And I hope I don't fuck myself up. Y'all can't see me. But she did one. No, I don't think I'm going to fall. So she went like this, y'all. You know how you jump down, but then go like that. And then she got right back up real fast. I know I did not fart. I did fart when I fell. And it stink. Oh, my God. That's a YouTube moment. So, ooh. Don't be don't be talking about this on Twitter, y'all. Anyway, Jennifer Lopez, girl, whatever. I hope you do good. I hope you do good. Alicia Keys' performance. Child, you know, she was giving me Sierra promise in that video. And I'm out of breath for jumping off that fucking bed, bitch. So, hold on, let me catch my breath. Can you keep up? All right, here, I'm back. Okay, so Alicia Keys was giving me promise with the five dancers backs against the wall dancing and stuff and then alicia keys was you know she got on the piano and it lifted her off the stage but what alicia keys did with the piano did not even measure up to what lady gaga did with the piano because that bitch was smashing liquor bottles on the piano and that bitch had a piano on fire so, Alicia Keys, you lost to Lady Gaga when it came to the piano, baby girl. You had to think of some other creative shit to do with the piano now because, bitch, you got Lady Gaga on you now. Eminem 
50 Cent, Drake, they, you know, they did they shit. You know, I'm really not into the hip-hop stuff, especially with Eminem. So, child, y'all could have that. Whatever. Green Day did a good job. I like Green Day. I've been listening to Green Day for a long time. But I still like Boulevard of a Broken Dreams. That's one of my favorite songs by them. But they did a good job. Timbaland. When Timbaland came out, first of all, all right, I mean, I'm not knocking nobody for getting on American Music Awards, but he just did not fit in with the show. First of all, he looked like the dream. His singer that was singing the song, he sounded like he couldn't get Lady Gaga on the song. And Nelly Furtado was looking like Sierra. So I was just done. I was just freaking done with Timberland's performance. I was freaking done. Okay, and then the, the last performance of the night, Adam Lambert. Adam was doing too much yelling and screaming for me, but I was no more good when I seen that simulated dick suck on TV. Now, if y'all gonna come down on Janet Jackson for her titty popping out, something that was beyond her control because Justin Timberlake was the one that ripped off the titty, I want to see repercussions for Adam Lambert getting his dick, uh, simulated dick suck on TV. I want to know... What is the repercussions for that? You know, I already know they're not going to crack down on him. They're not going to do anything. They're just going to just leave it alone. But come on. You got a lot of families watching this show. You know, that's how they be when they say it with Janet. You had a lot of families watching. And we seen Adam Lambert getting a dick sucked by another guy. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But it's on TV with children watching. He could have did that in a live show. You know, not on TV. You know, I'm really not agreeing with that being showed on TV. Not at all. You know, he can kiss a guy on camera. I think he kissed one of his um, piano players. That was fine with me. But doing a simulated sex act on stage, no, that is that is not right. I know girls, you know, we've seen some girls on videos and stuff, but they ain't never doing shit like that. They ain't going, ah, looking and shit. His face was in his dick. That man face was in Adam's dick. I know y'all seen it. On the West Coast, they probably edited it out because they was too late with cutting back the feed. I just I just think that was just tasteless. I don't think he should have done that. But overall, I enjoyed the show because I was watching it with a bunch of people. If you was not watching it with people, then, you know, you probably thought the show was horrible. I want to know what y'all think about the show. If you didn't rate, please rate this video. I know you, uh, you left a comment by now. If you're not a subscriber, you don't watch me for 12 minutes and you ain't a subscriber yet, what the hell is going on? You better click that yellow button. Tell all your friends about the Scorpion show. We about to take over for 2010, Lord willing. And, you know, we're 22,000 22, subscribers strong. Thank you all so much. I'm still in Orlando. I'm going back home tomorrow. Hopefully, Mikkel will be there tomorrow so we can talk more about the 2009 American Music Awards. And I will talk to you all later. Peace. OMG, you guys. I had to stop this video in the middle of editing because I forgot to talk about Whitney Houston performance. Whitney Houston, we all know that Whitney's voice is not the same anymore, but Whitney still tried, and Whitney did a very, very good job. If you do not have her album, I Look To You, you need to go buy that album because it's one of the best albums of 2009. Whitney did her thing up there on that stage, even though her hair was looking a mess, of course, and, you know, she was looking a little pregnant, but don't, that's just, you know, you know, I got to keep it real, you know. But, you know, that's just the minor flaws. But other than that, Whitney still did a very good job. And I cannot believe that I forgot to talk about Whitney Houston. So, um, Whitney, be strong. Be that soldier girl that you sing about. And, again, thank you all for watching. And please don't curse me out because I forgot about Whitney.